This is a bear's land. He's a bear and hunter. I accompany him for bear hunting. And of course, to me, a deer hunting. You know, he has a local hunter and has a special culling license for a bear. I don't have. Small deer. Sour. Uh, one or one. Three or eight Winchester. One fifty grains. And uh, of course, I carry a bear fighter knife on the right. And on my left, I carry two moras. Okay. Let's cut with the more a new robust in a factory, zero scandy edge. I'm not used to using this berry line, relatively steep. Very sharp. Hmm, not bad. Last finger takes this portion. Yes, very good for hunting. Very uh, thin, fat layer. Before the spring green season, now it is still covered. The ground is covered with snow and uh, little grass. Food for deer, very little. So very thin deer. Very good, no problem. Very sharp, light holding. Very comfortable. Okay. But of course, back strap. This handle is stable. These three fingers stabilize the handle. Different from Mora heavy duty 
or more old, robust, thick on the belly. This isn't. Unexpectedly, this is a very good beer knife. Yes, this is a very good deer knife. Cheap, awesome. Tender meat. On top. <laughs> Looks tasty. <laughs> Pinkish. Very beautiful cut. I love it. Okay. To the other side. I'll take uh, more old creeper. Money, I say.
chest shot here. This angle to the bone is shallower than robust. This shallow angle, very good handle and robust. Relatively high angle. Mm. For this job, I prefer maybe this, yes, companion faster. No problem. Okay, how about the neck extraction? Put down in the trochea and uh, esophagus here, and uh, this is the neck muscle. Okay, let's do from this side. This is the hardest bone contacting for this belly. Okay, try here. Hello, knife people. You saw these shiny spots on the edge line through this microscope. This was great on a deer, small deer. This berry is slow. Mm. I will drop down 
this line a little bit more to make this line faster for the other to remove <laughs> this uh, chipped point and to uh, restore this ugly looking no striking spine <laughs> not very good for bushcrafting this handle is strangely strangely stable in this center portion in the palm holding this portion has a gap but stable I think it's because of this rubber like material and uh, this simple contour very simple evenly this contour takes uh, power from my four fingers last finger takes this hump therefore for side holding stable and fist holding for a medium size hand owners good to my hand narrow mm. more robust they have uh, Carbon 2 mil puro and stainless 2 mil puro as well as this robust in the same handle. Uh, they can be better for you, uh, but I have a strong intention to raise the bevel height uh, to make my uh, feather sticking high slightly convex flat i love it very much for bushcraft but uh, this handle is too narrow and too thin so i will give the, this knife to my daughter to expect she will join my hunting <laughs> and uh, camping in the near future after finishing her hard uh, study job, uh, high school job. Mm. Okay, it's my dream to hunt with her, to camp with her again. This is the knife for the purpose. See you. Bye bye.